What's up gamers? Welcome to this Madden NFL tip. And in today's tip, we're going to be discussing how to lob pass in Madden NFL. Guys, these tips will transfer from Madden 25 to Madden 15. And all these tips that I'm giving you are in preparation for the release of Madden NFL 15. Guys, today we're going to be going over how to lob pass. Last video, we talked about the importance of of being able to bullet pass and throw trajectories like that by using holding down on the receiver's icon and being able to uh, beat tight man-to-man -man coverage by using those uh, passing trajectories. In today's video, we're going to show you an example of where you're, you need to lead your receiver out over the defense so that he can beat uh, a cover zero or a cover, uh, a cover one man-to-man -man defense. So here we're going to audible to a situation where that might be the case. Typically this is in uh, heavy pe pressure situations, so be sure to use the tip that we discussed uh, a couple of videos back in how to slide protect your line. Here I'm anticipating pressure from the lefts from both edges because I know that they're pressed up and, it lo and I'm trying to fit this lob pass in. So I'm going to block my running back by using the hot route tip, hot routing him to a block. And then I'm going to slide protect my line opposite of where uh, my running back is blocking. So now I have a six-man protection scheme. And I'm also going to, now since we're running to lob pass, we're going to try to hit Steve Smith, one of the fastest receivers in the game, over the top. Now real quickly here, I want to show you an example of a situation where what if I don't lob pass? So here I'm going to wait. I'm even. If he's even and he's leaving, that's the thought process. But there you see Aqib Talib make a really nice play on the ball. And here this is another example of the importance of different passing trajectories. Sometimes you bullet pass, sometimes you lob pass. In this situation, I tried to bullet pass and look at the result. You see that it's thrown. The ball is thrown very low and very back shoulder risk. And unfortunately, I keep to leave. There's no separation. I don't allow Steve Smith to basically be able to run away, even though I have to throw it at that point. Because if you see the defense is coming off the edge to sack me, I have to get rid of the ball. But as you see. It's very difficult because I tried to bullet pass. I didn't have the right trajectory. Now we want to show you a situation where we get the right trajectory. So we're going to make all those adjustments again. We're going to do everything exactly the same. But this time we're going to use a lob pass. So they're pressing because they want to get that uh, aggressive coverage so that the blitz can come in. Here I wait. And now I lob it over the top and now see Steve Smith runs away from Aqib Tlaib and scores a touchdown 4-6 for the Carolina Panthers. Let's take a look at this in instant replay and show you the difference of the passing trajectory uh, that we just saw. So here you see uh, it's the same basic coverage. It's press, it's off, uh, it's press cover zero. But now look where the ball is thrown. At this point, I was getting the ball about right here. It was thrown at the same exact point and now you see it's a lot higher of a trajectory you see that it and, and basically I did that by tapping Steve Smith's uh, button and holding the left analog stick in the 12 o'clock position for a directly up vertical pass lead okay so real quick here we're going to show you this one more time but basically what you're going to be doing is as soon as you uh, see that your your receiver is even it's the old phrase, if he's even, he's leaving. That's when you're going to uh, begin to throw the football. You want to tap the receiver's icon. That's going to give you the best lob pass. But you also want to make sure that you're holding that left analog stick in the up position because that way it's going to make that lob pass go down more down the field. So here we have our setup in. We're going to drop back. We see that he's even. We're going to lob pass, hold up the finger, and Steve Smith's going to be gone for six one of the fastest receivers in the game and once again you see that the uh, trajectory does a much better job uh, here let's look at it from the quarterback's perspective so you see we drop back we've got pressure in our face but we see that right at that point he's even and there's no safety over the top to help him now you see I can institute that lob pass. I get it nice up and over the defender for a very good passing trajectory. Get over the defender and Steve Smith goes for six. Just like last tip on the beginner series, you need to be using passing, different passing leads, different passing trajectories based off of the route, the situation, and the defense of the defenses that the opponent is in. So... There's a, we talked about how to throw a bullet pass last week. 
This week we've talked about how to throw a lob pass. Both are essential for effective play in Madden. So be sure to get on when do I throw a bullet, when do I throw the lob pass, because now you have the tools to do that. And, guys, I'm telling you right now, these are two of the most important tips for getting better at passing for Madden NFL 15. Thank you for your time. I hope this video provided some value, and if it did, leave a like rating below.